U.S. military officials released striking images from the weekend raid in Syria. Chip Reed is at the Pentagon tonight. Video released by the Pentagon shows the initial U.S. strikes on al-Baghdadi's compound. General Kenneth McKenzie, commander of CENTCOM, oversaw the operation and today narrated the dramatic assault. These individuals who we don't assess were affiliated with Baghdadi, but nonetheless demonstrated hostile intent against U.S. forces, were killed by two airstrikes from supporting helicopters. That cleared the way for the commandos to approach the compound. With the assault force surrounding the compound, we repeatedly urged those inside to come out peacefully. When they didn't, the commandos went in. Al-Baghdadi, chased by this heroic military dog, ran into a dead-end tunnel where he ignited his suicide vest. He crawled into a hole with two small children and blew himself up. Once U.S. forces had cleared the area, the compound was demolished by multiple strikes. It looks pretty much like a parking lot with large uh, potholes right now. President Trump watched the drama unfold on live TV in the White House Situation Room Saturday night. We had absolutely perfect, as though you were watching a movie. He described al-Baghdadi as scared out of his mind in his final moments. Whimpering and crying and screaming all the way. General McKenzie could not confirm that claim and made clear that ISIS is far from finished. So we're under no illusions that it's going to go away just because we, uh, we kill Baghdadi. It will remain. They will be dangerous. We suspect they will try some form of retribution attack. On Capitol Hill today, the acting director of the National Counterterrorism Center predicted that ISIS will have its new leader soon because they have what he called, quote, a deep bench. Nora? All right, Chip, thank you.